Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, back with another quick take. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all-new Orvis H3D Blackout, and specifically in the 8 foot 5 inch 8 weight size. Now this rod is special because it's the first short 8 weight that Orvis has built in the Helios 3 series, and I'm really excited to get it out on the water and tell you how it casts. We're here in Casco Bay in Maine doing some early season striped bass fishing, and this rod is absolutely perfect for that. We've talked about how shorter rods like the eight foot four inch Scott Sector are better for blind casting and pretty much any kind of fishing where you're gonna be casting all day long. And that really is because the swing weight is reduced. Now, Orvis has taken that concept to the next level, and this here, eight weight is the absolute lightest swing weight we've ever seen on an eight weight. And it's not the lightest by a couple of points. It's the lightest by a huge margin. It's even lighter than a decent number of five weights. Just think about that. An eight weight that fishes lighter than some five weights. It's really incredible. And Orvis has done that not just by cutting down the length, but they've also changes up the guides. They're using Fuji Seracoil guides and all the componentry on this rod is really top notch. They've done everything they possibly can to make this rod super, super light and maintain that same Helios 3D high performance you're used to. I just wanted to take a moment to remind you that 100% of our funding for these videos comes from your purchases at tridentflyfishing.com. So if you're enjoying this video, Help us out by making your next tackle purchase at Trident Fly Fishing. In terms of line choice, like the Scott Sector, this H3 Blackout definitely likes a heavier line. And I would say the perfect fit is gonna be somewhere between an SA Grand Slam if you're in the tropics, all the way to an SA Titan if you're fishing here in the Northeast. I've got an outbound short on it right now. It's just a little bit too heavy for this rod. That SA Titan's a little bit lighter feeling and casts absolutely perfectly. In terms of looks, this rod looks a lot like the original H3, with one exception in that they've blacked it out. And really that means they've gotten rid of the white label that most of us were maybe a little borderline about anyway. In terms of overall casting feel, this is a fast rod, but not a rod that is too fast. But that said, if you're used to the standard H3D or even the H3F, this rod's gonna be a little bit quicker. That's a factor of length and use. And I think Orvis was thinking striped bass, striped bass, striped bass when they made this, and you can tell. And so they've, they've made it fast enough to make those longer casts, light enough to cast all day long, and they've really done a great job. In terms of accuracy, obviously this is a quick take and we're not gonna give you a scientific measurement of accuracy, but it feels really accurate. And I honestly wouldn't hesitate at all to take this out on a permit flat with a Grand Slam line. In fact, if there was a permit opportunity where you had to cast all day long, this would definitely be the rod to do it. I'm honestly super, super impressed with this rod and I'm really tempted to actually take this in the field for a full review, but with only one rod model, it just doesn't really make sense at this point. The Orvis H3 Blackout retails for $998, and it's definitely an expensive fly rod. With that said, this is the pinnacle of eight weight performance, and you're getting the absolute lightest eight weight on the market. Overall, I think it represents a decent value, even at that high price point. There are plenty of rods out there that don't offer anywhere near this kind of performance and cost just as much, if not more. I'm gonna go out and buy one, and hopefully I'm gonna go out and catch a striped bass right now. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.